Hey guys, Pro Dr. Mr. Doc here, and welcome back to another Roblox video. Today I'm going to show you how to get the Diver's Helmet in Trade Lance on Roblox during the Atlantis event. Let's get started. So what you want to do is get into the game and press play game. You then want to pick the Hallingard faction, which will spawn you over at the Hallingard place. You then want to walk over to the little concerned sailor over here, the, uh, he's a quest giver. And talk to him, he will be like, you got to help my friends. I'll go there now. Uh, I already did the conversation, but you basically have to talk to him, and when you're done, he will give you this arrow. So what you want to do then is walk over to this dock master right here, press the D, and then you want to spawn your ship, if you have one, else you will have to swim. <laughs> but either way, you have to use a ship, and you will follow the arrow until you get to a broken uh, ship, a sunken ship. <laughs> and I will see you guys there. Alright, so when you've gotten onto the ship, uh, you want to talk to the survivor. So he will be right here. The thing over there, the ship, it's like a portal or something. So this is basically where the part of the ship has gone. It went inside a portal. <laughs> we just want to hop right into that and we will teleport to another world. Alright, when you load in, you will be right here. And this is where the other part of the ship is. Uh, we are now in Lost Land. So what you want to do is follow these the blue dots. I'll do a little shortcut right over here. Just walk straight through here. Uh, and you will end up all the way over there, which is a small gate. Uh, but basically, just follow these small blue <laughs> glowing dots. It's a pretty cool place, actually. I like this a lot. Um, and you will find this area. Okay, we just head inside. Then we go up the stair. And here comes a lot of stuff to take in. Uh, so, first of all, when you get in here, you want to talk to this old man over here, the wise old man. Hello, young traveler. Hello. All I have to do is go into a crew of three or four and head downstairs. Okay. You can press how to do that and blah blah blah, but I'm gonna show you. So, in here, you can type slash invite, uh, or INV, and then type someone's name. That will invite them to your crew, and you need to invite three people to a crew or join a crew of three people. So you have to be four in total, uh, and then you want to head inside of this door. The crew, the crew leader needs to touch this door, and you will be teleported into uh, the next part. But be careful, because if you go into a crew with incompetent people, then there will be a mess. I did that. Yeah, person went AFK, we couldn't finish the puzzle. So I'm back here right now, let's redo this. Alright, as you can see, I'm now in a crew, the captain is Lord Rex, so he has to touch the door, and we will be teleported into the puzzle map, which I will show you how to do. Okay, so when you spawn, you will have the first puzzle, which is basically three uh, buttons you have to press down. So just wait for everyone to come, press the buttons, and you will get into the next one. Now here is where things get tricky. So you can see this beam up here. When you press the button, uh, it will d direct the p piece above it, uh, as you can see, and that will make the shine keep going. So what you need to do in this puzzle is basically have all of the, the whole beam go through this whole thing until it touches the thing above the door. Uh, as we do this, we will show you how it's done now. It's actually randomized, so you will have to figure this out yourself, but you basically want to redirect the light from there to there. It's really simple as you can see, but it does randomize, so be careful. Next up we come here, and here is the trickiest part. We have to fight guardians. You can see there are two guardians there, two guardians here, and two guardians here. Together we can do it. So press inventory, you can bring out the little sword you got, I already did. But here we have the person. Uh, if you have good players, you probably have guns and stuff like that too. So they can probably help out a lot. Um, now, as you can see, when I'm fighting, it's, I'm taking a bunch of damage, as you can probably tell. Uh, but do not worry, okay? Because if you die... <laughs> you will just respawn up there, so everything is completely, completely fine. Uh, I'll show you right now, so if we go ahead and attack this Guardian, 
uh, we're gonna help annoying right here he's getting attacked um, we will die as you can see uh, and we will just respawn right up here okay but I will be back with the next part as soon as we have killed the guardians there we go, that is the last guardian. So the next step is to split up. We have one lever there, one lever there, one lever there, and one lever here. And when you press a lever, uh, it basically turns these green. So you can see right here, they turn green. What you need to do is press them all at the same time. So let's do this. Everyone is ready? Okay, on three. Three. Right, one, two, three. There we go, we did it. So we pressed them all at the same time. A little trapdoor at the very end will open and we can all head in there. Whee! Hey, 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 duck from the future here. Uh, this part of the event, I did not actually get the actual puzzle part recorded because this is a mess. I'm gonna try to explain as good as I can. Uh, this is basically a maze and I think it randomizes. I'm not sure it might or might not, but what you have to do is find this big gate which has six light dots above it. And then in some other room, there are apparently buttons that you have to press in a combination, basically a color combination. Uh, what you have to do is work with your uh, teammates to talk to them and you will be able to figure this out but basically press them in order if they light up you're good to go if they shut off you have to redo it and you have to figure out the combination so some people have to stand at the door so they can see the lights and some other have to find the buttons with the colors or whatever they are and there you can do it and when you're done it will open up and that is where we will continue from right now Alright, when they have completed the puzzle, <coughs> we can head into the next part. Um, so I actually didn't get anything of this. What you have to do is basically press the four buttons in, or all the buttons in the right order. It's like a color code or something. Uh, I'm sorry, I did not find it. Someone else actually did this for me right now, uh, and it was Annoying Hawkster. Uh, so I think in another part of the maze there is like these buttons that you have to press and together you will have to find out the order on how to do it because when you got the combo all of these will light up and you can head inside. Alright so when everyone has arrived at the door you head inside and the gates will close behind you. Now you will see these pads that basically light up when you stand on them and to do this next part you have to stand on a button let other people walk across and stand on the next buttons, then someone else walks across and steps on the next button, and then the next person steps up all the way up and gets to the next button. So you basically have to uh, move in order, because if one button activates parts that then you have to step over uh, to get to the next button to keep them holding while the other person walks over. So it's basically a, sort of a ladder that you pick each of up until you get to two levers that you press at the same time that will open a thing at the bottom. Then you have to get to the very very top where you have to stand on a button to activate water to flow the whole room and then you are done. This is just the speed of the whole thing because it takes a bit uh, to figure it out but yeah here we have the water when it comes up we are done. Alright, when the water is here, you swim and jump up on the edge, you will get into another room. And this puzzle is another laser slash um, light puzzle. Basically, you will find these uh, uh, prisms on the ground that you will have to use to redirect the light from one point of the room to another while a person is standing on a button holding the light open. So another time you gotta have teamwork, you gotta fiddle around, but you will be able to figure it out. Alright, so we completed the prisms, it got to the end of the room where you had to put it. It's really obvious how to do this part. Uh, so next up you get into this arena type of thing. And what you have to do here is basically beat all the five guardians. When you're done with that, we will get our reward. So let's do this. That's one. That's two. Okay, so we noticed that if you die, do not worry. Uh, you respawn. <laughs> Everything is fine. That's three. That's four, and that is five. There we have it. Congratulations. You've earned a virtual prize for completing the mission. Equip it on your avatar and continue the search for the lost city of Atlantis. Alright guys, but that's it for this video of me showing you how to get the diver's helmet in 
trade lands on Roblox. I hope you guys liked the video. Leave a like down below if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to see more of my videos. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye!